Hey people, this is Mindful Talks Podcast. Welcome to the seventh episode of Hashtag Game Dev Club. I'm very sure that today's episode is very interesting and it is all related with your talent and your success as a game developer. Uh, so yeah, do you really need talent in order to become a successful game developer? That's a most, uh, what we can say, a controversial topic or what we can say, a uh, debatable topic you know? and m- many of the people like 90 percentage of people will say that you need to have special talent in order to be in this field but it is not always like that so yeah how frequently do we believe that success demands talent it is like every time you know? so however Skill is only a minor piece of this picture. So in today's episode, I want each one of you to take this as a concept rather than take it uh, taking it in a very negative way. Uh, take this as a concept and just learn from it in a positive way rather than uh, having so many doubts or so many questions uh, negatively. So there are eight practices in the game development business that we can always manage and that require no ability or what we can say a very less ability. The first is work ethic. So if you work on a game development team, make it a habit to show up every day, even if you don't want to make a plan and stick to it. If you must punish yourself with a riding crop, if you skip a day, concentrate on showing up and putting in the time the second point is having a proper grip so yes uh, punctuality is essential and it is like you know it necessitates the structure as well as uh, the forethought both of these will contribute to the higher long-term success for your game development efforts you will probably miss two days of game development if you skip one so then three and then months pass and you are still at the square one so you need to have proper grip the third very important point is attitude so it is up to you to maintain a good mindset nobody else can make that decision but you and uh, you are considerably more likely to succeed if you approach the situation with a positive and can do attitude the fourth is uh, effort so making an attempt is a mentality as much as an action put forth your best effort in all you do if you're going to do pixel art make the finest freaking pixel art you can make if you are coding go for the broke and don't scrimp on your game and expect it to sell a lot of copies the fifth is energy Every one of us has a limited amount of energy to dedicate to any particular aim. We can all choose how much energy we want to contribute. Make certain uh, that uh, you are devoting sufficient energy to appropriate things at the right time. Choose what is essential to you and focus on it. The sixth practice is over deliver. So make an additional effort. People who are most successful in their field are those who have continually worked harder than uh, than is necessary to be uh, done. So exceed your own ex- expectations by putting an extra effort. When it comes to game production, go above and above and above and there should be no looking back. The seventh practice is uh, your mindset. So anyone may improve their listening skills, benefits from taking inputs from different people and seize opportunities to learn from the mentors. Whatever your trade or craft is, you can always be better. Take criticism and feedback in your side and strive to maintain a beginner's attitude at all times. Don't think that you are the master of everything. Just be a learner and learn no matter what. The last more important point is your passion. So pushing ahead in the face of adversity requires a very strong sense of determination. Don't just produce a clone of the current trendy game in order to cash in 
instead uh, identify a kind of game that actually connects with you as a person and create that so these were the eight practices uh, we discussed and uh, i have not mentioned about talent or a very less or i i think not even mentioned about the ability so that's how thing goes you don't need always to be super talented in order to be super successful sometimes uh if we just say it in a sentence that make an effort to improve your behavior and you will have far more accomplishments than before so it's all in your behavior your uh, mindset and as we spoke about uh, different stuffs so yeah so it's all uh, even a psychological game as well so yes we were making many technical episodes previously so if you haven't checked uh, those episodes you should check those as well and uh, this time we came up with very a uh, different kind of episode in which we did not speak much about the technicalities but yes this is a very uh, beneficial episode to all the designers and even not just designers but wherever you are in your life um, professionally uh, so yes this is a helpful episode episode to you so with this uh, let's end this episode uh, thanks a lot for listening to this we will meet in the next episode till then keep on learning